Welcome back, wandering travelers, to Calico, where we're exploring our past memories and to see where they lead. Now, we've already done the nice part of life, so let's see what's on the other side, shall we? <laughs> the best show in the world. I smell trouble. Yep. You're right about that. You're not going to like what you're about to find behind this door. You see, the world we created has one peculiarity. It's alive. Alive? What does that mean? It means that we only lay its foundation. But it keeps developing by itself. If I controlled every bit of this world, there would not be any sense in its existence. Not everything in it is as beautiful as what we saw earlier. So it's two sides to one coin. But of course, you are completely impartial, like a true creator. That's right, and I'm proud of it. How else can it be? This is a prison, just great. The best manifestation of life. There are a lot of cells here, judging by how many digits there are in the numbers. That's putting it mildly. Oh yes, there are many cells and many prisoners. Their name is Legion. Let's take a look in one of them. I believe there is an open one on the level above. I'm not sure I'd want that. Want it or not, we'll have to. That's our job, my friend. That's cool. Um, what the heck is that? Keep so enthusiastic. I bet he won't go far. All jokes aside, do you see what he is doing? Watch closely. If you look at his precious screen, you can see that there's another one exactly like him. He's being forced to an electric chair, fed by the energy they're generating with all this relentless pedaling. And every one of them knows that sooner or later, they too will be dragged there and fried in that very chair. John? Why are you telling me this? Did you forget it was me who brought these memories from reality? That's exactly what life I'm living is like, while you are sitting around here in your oblivion. Oh, come on. Calm down, will you? Let's go. The show must go on, you know. Show, sure, huh? You're gonna be in that chair, aren't you? He's definitely got determination. Hmm. Cash potato. Let's keep walking.
What a loathsome place. What are we gonna see up there? You've probably guessed already, haven't you? Yep. That same chair. Yeah, apart from that, there's basically nothing else here. That's his house. And a corpse. Where is the immortal soul in this body? See this white smiling piece of porcelain nearby? That's a soul substitute. It is more than enough. As you can see. Enough for what? For a crazy show like this? That's even too much. Can we put a mask on him? Here's our new lucky boy! Thousands of eyes are glued to the screen right now! All full of envy! Are you ready for your 15 minutes of fame? This vanity fair... Is there another way to get out of here? Forget about it. No, no. There's gotta be another way. Again, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. Sit. What? What the heck? No. No! I don't want to go back there again. There has to be another way. Stop him! was hard. That's why we made a deal a long time ago. Where are we, you're asking? Let's take a walk again. You'll see. It'll all end soon, I promise. Well, for this run anyway, plus our thing. Time seems to have stopped here. You're quite right. Especially for you. Time here is particularly significant. Ah, oh, you're a big boy. this. 
war, of course. The one that never changes. Exactly. It never ends. Another manifestation of life. Perhaps the most important one. It's not that some armies keep clashing on mythical battlefields. It's just that everyone wants to get higher and crush as many as possible, destroying everyone and everything on their way. Yeah, yes. Perpetuum mobile, don't you think? True perpetual motion of the universe. No more, no less. No way. Well, are you trying to say that people are driven to make new discoveries just because they want to dominate the world? No. They only want to trample everything they didn't create. Anything that stands on their way while they try and conquer the world. Keep talking. The real force of progress is curiosity. It's the desire to develop and complicate the world. These two stories are easily confused. However, someone else's curiosity can also become one of the weapons in this war. Do you think there can be one without the other? I haven't seen anything like this, but oh. I hope. What choice do I have? that way. What about them? Did anyone ever get to the top? To the Oracle? No, of course not. What would be the point of keeping something like this then? What a weird thought. Oh well. Are you trying to say that we're being treated differently here? You may say so, yes. But to be honest, I hardly find it attractive. At least it's fun down here. But what's up there? So you get to the top. Have all your questions answered? What next? Here we go again. It's as if there's nothing else apart from this slaughterhouse down there and the oracle at the top. That's how it seems sometimes. Definitely has a lot of questions, don't it? Is there anything hiding back here? No, I don't think so. Alright, let's try the stairs. Let's go. Yeah, what's that floating? Oh, just a She's beautiful, isn't she? Almost perfect. So, this is the Oracle, I suppose. Now I'll gain some access to some forbidden knowledge. <laughs> of course you will. Come closer. After all, you've reached the top.
sorry I'm not being completely honest. The knowledge you came here for is no secret for those fighting down there. You're also initiated. Then why all this? Why this endless carnage? That's a good question. I've been wondering too. You see, this knowledge is so scorching hot that no one really wants to see it for what it is. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Everyone wants to reach the top and ask me about their future. It is that fear of the unknown that leaves people with an impression that they know their future. Future made from wind and ashes, something called power, control, and a thousand other words. I see which knowledge you are talking about. Death? No. It's too abstract a word. You're talking about obliviating everything we can call ourselves. That's right. Each of those people is so eager to stick to who they are, and at the same time inevitably losing their identity. Simply because this is life. What about pain? Isn't it the desire to shield yourself from it forever that makes people subdue everything around them? Build walls? Walls are made from someone else's pain? No. Pain is an integral part of life. Any change in personality, however small, is pain. And there's only one way to get rid of it. You already mentioned it. Death. Oblivion. Now the Master is ready to ask you his question. He's waiting. Love this change. Those who've met, all in one place. So, you've come to the end. It is time to ask the question. I'm ready. You may ask. You already know what I want to hear. Either that, or you remember it. Come on, say it yourself. Of course I know. Or maybe I remembered. You want to know if I'm ready to be born again, and live another life. Yes, there it is, the crossroads. What do you want to do this time? Erase your identity? Regenerate? Be born again and relive all that inspiration and all the pain life gives us? Or have you had enough of going around in circles, and now all you want is peace and quiet? What do you think? What would you rather choose? After all, you can't live without me. We were inseparable. Don't you remember? Your wish is my wish too. What a paradox. I want to cause more chaos. Let's live again. Oblivion. The most precious, but also the most ubiquitous gift. It can wait, though. I choose a new life. It's time to tell a new story. This is your choice and your burden. I'll see you soon, old friend.
right. Past altars and stages, past temples and taverns, past classy graveyards, past street markets jabber, past peace and past woe, past Mecca and Rome, burned by the sun's blue glow, the earth, the pilgrims, Rome. They're heavily injured and hunchbacked, they're hungry and almost naked. Their eyes are full of sunset. Their hearts are full of daybreak. The deserts are singing behind them. Sheet lightning breaks out abruptly. Up above, the stars are igniting. And birds are screaming gruffly that the world will remain the same. Yes, indeed the same. Dazzling with snowy game, with fondness its unlikely name. The world will remain underhanded. The world will remain forever. Perhaps it can be comprehended. It has no limits, however. Which means it will make no sense to believe in yourself or Lord. And the things that remain are hence the illusion and the road. All sunsets remain in service. All daybreaks are still in splendor. The soldier will muck Earth's surface. The poet will be its defender. That's so awesome. guys well I hope you enjoyed that and so now an interesting little adventure and I might go back and uh, see what the other pathway holds unless of course you drive and you leave it as a surprise for you all until then I'll bid you adieu and I'll see you next time, my shadows.